His company employees were muzzle at work, cannot speak human language, only through the dog barking to communicate. Employees can only take off the muzzle when they return to their rooms after work. Wearing the muzzle again at work, this is a company called Happy Partners. It specializes in making canned food for everyone, and the employees here are trained from a young age to only follow their master's commands. They are corporate slave who can talk but can only bark. Jack had also reached adulthood by now. He picked up the phone in order to adapt to his work and took out the mask and put it on his face. He looked at the person in the mirror and wondered what would happen next. Jack's first day at work, when the voice on the radio sounded, the corporate slaves in the production area opened their books and picked up their phones. The next work area was filled with the sound of barking dogs. Jack was stunned. Jenny in Jack's front row had nothing to do. She had a look of disdain on her face. Jack quickly blended in with the group. At that moment, a staff member came to Jack with a woman on a leash and untied the chain. And the woman sat her on Jack's side. She was about to lead Jack into a new world. The boss was about to give a speech on stage. Jenny on the stage but laughed wildly. Then she took off the muzzle. She said you dogs are so pathetic. Do you think the government is really taking care of you? She said she had been to the outside world. The woman was dragged away unceremoniously. The boss still smiled and spoke to the corporate slave with his words of comfort. He said that the government definitely cares about everyone. Employees should do their dog's job and not disobey their superiors if they don't want to be educated. And then the screams came from the back door. Jenny, who had just put up a brave fight, had turned into a puppy. She was transformed from a corporate slave to an animal. The boss took the puppy in his arms and stroked it gently. Jack only felt a chill in his back. Anna couldn't stand it and stood up violently. The boss's kind smile disappeared. He handed the puppy to the staff and asked Anna if she had any comments. The boss's expression began to turn fierce. The woman was thrown on the couch by the men. The two women behind her took control of her. The boss smiles kindly and picks up a can of food to scare her. Anna struggles desperately but is held down by the two women. The boss adds medicine to the can and feeds it to Anna's mouth. The women's eyes were numb. Anna struggled desperately but she finally ate the medicine. Anna's body suddenly became hot and her eyes became disoriented. She was seeing a lot of fantasies. The illusion was mesmerizing and intoxicating. The boss didn't understand what Anna was fighting against. The boss's eyes became tender and he gently stroked her hair. He doesn't understand why Anna won't accept him. The barking of a dog indicates that it is time to eat. The group of corporate slaves put their heads down neatly and licked the food from the dog bowl. Jack looked at the empty seat in front of him and panicked. He looks at Anna next to him. Her eyes were misty and she was shaking her head. At this moment, Jenny's photo was also put on the dog wall. There are many pictures of people who have become dogs. The boss was very proud of himself. He succeeded in killing the rebels once again. He was accompanied by two beautiful women to serve him. At this moment, the phone call came to ask about the factory. The boss looked at the pictures on the dog wall. They were all of his glorious achievements. He felt proud of himself, but Anna was not tamed by him. She quietly left her seat at bedtime and crawled towards the warehouse. Jack had been curious about her for a long time and followed her. They walked through the dank warehouse to the grain storage room. Anna picked up an apple and handed it to Jack. But Jack had never eaten anything like it before and refused her. Anna couldn't understand why Jack was crawling after her. So Anna started to eat the apple by herself. She then complained that it was strange for them to be locked up in a small room eating canned food since they were born. The boss told them to learn to speak human language, but not to speak human language. And they had to wear muzzle every day. Then she tried to take Jack's muzzle off. Jack blocked her, but Anna suddenly became frightened. He looked towards her and found a bunch of dog cages. He knew Anna was scared, so he went over and covered the cages with a cloth. Anna thought Jack was funny. Some feelings are like wine slowly fermenting in a dark corner. Anna put the bitten apple back into the box and left. But this little mistake would bring her a second disaster. Jack went back to his room and took out the apple Anna gave him. He dithered for a moment and then nibbled on it. After eating the apple, Adam felt some emotions that he had never felt before. Jack's mind was filled with Anna's image, her gentle gaze and full lips. Jack's teeth tore into the juicy flesh of the fruit. But something bad happened the next day. The apple that Anna had taken a bite of was found by the managers. In order to find the corporate slave who had eaten the forbidden fruit, the managers started whipping a puppy. Jack was terrified. His trembling body showed the fierce collision of courage and cowardice. Just as Jack was about to stand up.
Jack could only lower his head in disbelief. And so Anna was taken away on a leash. What will happen next? The woman is tied to the leash and tied up in the office. A lecherous man appears and forces a drug into her mouth. Anna then feels her body get hot and her eyes get lost. This is the boss's punishment for disobedient dog employees. Then the boss tried to touch Anna's face, but she avoided him. He persuaded Anna to come back and continue working with the government. As long as Anna follows him, she can talk and eat anything. Then the boss moves closer and tries to test Anna's feelings. But again, Anna avoided his contact. By this time, the boss was getting impatient. He took out the red drug and increased the dosage. Jack looked at Anna who just sat her down and felt worried. The next step was the boss's dog training session. He wanted to see everyone review the exercises from childhood to adulthood. The staff will get to eat. If they do a good job, the boss asked the staff to spin around like dogs and asked them to spit out their tongues to cool off. All the employees were trained by him to be like dogs and Anna obeyed his orders. The boss was so pleased that he fed Anna, but Anna bit his finger hard. The boss's face was twisted in pain, and Anna was punished severely. The other dogs also wailed. Jack had a fierce look on his face. He screamed at the boss to let go of Anna. However, as a dog, it is a company taboo for an employee to speak human language. So Jack was taken away. I think Jack had become a white dog. Anna became sullen and unhappy. She felt very cold in the group of corporate slaves who had no feelings and no humanity. She thought of the warm atmosphere when she was with Jack. She thought of Jack's gentle grip on her hand. So Anna peeled off a piece of wire. This action is like a warrior pulling out his sword. Anna then quietly crawled towards her beloved boy again. <coughs> Anna was discovered by them and accelerated her crawl. She used the wire to pick the lock that held Jack. She carried Jack on her shoulders and tried to escape the place. But the sound of barking dogs behind her suddenly stopped Anna from running. The dogs behind her were once human beings with minds. She thought of what the boss said before. He said that when the dogs had freedom of thought, they were still worthless. Thinking of this, Anna turned around and pushed down all the dog cages. This act later escaped time. So when Anna ran out, the boss had been waiting for her for a long time. He threatened Anna to go home with him. But Anna's eyes were determined. She took out a bottle of red pills from her pocket. The boss realized that his medicine had been stolen. Anna had the medicine, which meant she had control of the dogs. The boss rushed to beg her for mercy, saying he never wanted to hurt Anna. But it was too late. Anna poured the red drug on the boss. The dogs smelled the drug and became excited. They jumped at the boss. The dogs didn't recognize their master. They only cared about what the water gave them to eat. Anna thought she could escape without any problems. But she was blocked by the law enforcement officers who arrived. Is Anna going back to being a dog? She looked out the window at the white clouds. What choice will she make? Anna takes off her muzzle with a plum. The law enforcement officers also raised their pistols. Anna boldly ran towards the window. Under the blue-white clouds, the breeze gently blows on her face. The hot body heat of the dog in her arms. It was beautiful. Anna was stunned. If only this life could go on. Anna's eyes suddenly became sad. She knew it was only her fantasy. The dogs who resisted were shot and killed. Anna's body is also covered with blood and lying on the cold ground. This is a short film that can make us think. Most people live in this world without a purpose. And from the director's metaphors we can see. Anna is not actually a corporate slave. She is the one who comes to give freedom of thought to the dog. Jack became a dog. After he got the freedom of thought. After eating the forbidden fruit. To be or not to be. That is the question. This is Save Review. You can subscribe and leave comments if you have any ideas. Thanks for watching. See you next time.